uh, start uh, today's class. Uh, we are discussing a, a linear block code chapter. Last class, you took this particular example. Uh, find the generator matrix G and a uh, paradigmatic matrix H for a linear block code with a minimum distance 3 and a message block length uh, given was 8. Now, just uh, write down the solution and it is given that k equal to 8 in the problem statement. And we all of us have discussed yesterday n is less than or equal to 2 raised to n minus k minus 1. And n is less than or equal to 2 raised to n minus 8 minus 1. But trial and error method n may be found. We have done like this yesterday also. Type your answer in the chat box for the value of n. Take a minute or two. Now, given the answer n equal to 12, I too tried from 10 and 11 and 12 n equal to. So I too got. So it is true at uh, 12. Correct. But render method n may be found to be 12 such that code would be now 12 comma 8 code. Hence, n equal to 12, k equal to 8, n minus k becomes 4. Now, a transpose of h matrix you have to write. Copy it on this one line, then we will continue the discussion. Try to say the number of columns and the number of rows in the h matrix. Take a minute, try to think what should be the number of rows, number of columns in the h matrix. Uh, very happy to see the answer from uh, Rashmi Raika. Rows are 12, sir. Column should be 4. The same thing I am going to show you in the next slide. Uh, we know that uh, H transpose equal to P followed by I have a N, uh, sorry, I. I is N minus K and P is given by K cross N minus K. Now N minus K is 4, N equal to 12 and K equal to 8. Therefore, in the H transpose, 4 rows will be there, column will be, no, 12 rows will be there, 4 columns will be there. And the combination of those. You can write the combination of those. Uh, these are the total combinations what you have taken for 16, 0, 0, 1, 1, etc. But I have to take only 12. I don't want all 15. So beginning 12 I can take. So just I'll pause for a minute, go through. Then I'll make use. Of, I'll make use of these as a part of our H transpose. So this is a, what I told just now, uh, H transpose, I am writing, the whatever I have listed in the previous uh, slide, the same thing I am taking, followed by identity matrix I need, 1000, 0100, 0100, 0001. So this is a H transpose. I will pause for a few seconds, copy down. So H matrix, H transpose is over, then write down the H matrix. H. Hope all of you have written the H matrix. Those are not written, they write down fast. Then you can write the G generator matrix, identity matrix followed by parity matrix. Now I am showing you the G matrix. Identity matrix followed by parity matrix. Compare what you have done with this. If it is same, well and good. Otherwise, copy down and try to understand. If you feel difficulty, you can. Let us uh, consider one more example for a linear block code. The parity check bits of a 8 4 block code are generated by. Uh, C5 equal to given. Just try to copy down this example. I will pause for a two minutes. From the given problem, try to write the parity matrix. Once you ferret the parity matrix, then you can go for generator matrix. Uh, simply 
from the given C5, C6, C7, C8, I'll write down the P and G equal to IP, I'll write. Then C equal to D into G, I'll write. Uh, at least uh, two, three, you can do it. Take a data combination, at least two, three, and uh, find out the C equal to. No need to do all the 16, all of you know how to do. One or two, you can do it is enough. Then write down the H equal to P transpose I N minus K. I'm going little fast because you already solved many problems. So consider the H matrix. Once if you copy H matrix, we'll continue the discussion. Now, inspect the H matrix. Try to add more than two or three columns of H, which should be added up to zero. If I add say one, two, three, say six, something like that, or one, two, three, seven, something like that, I should get a zero, zero, zero. So you can consider from one to six. When I add more than two or three columns, I should be able to get a zero. For example, one plus two plus or two plus three plus something. Just to spend a little time on that. After a few seconds, I'll give you the answer. Say one plus two plus. If I add which column, I'll get a zero zero zero. Just glance, 1 plus, 2 plus, 3 plus, something, if I add 4 columns. Will I get 0 or what are those columns? See here, 1 plus, 2 plus, 3. And 6th column I am adding. 1 plus, 2 plus, 3, 6th column is 0, 1, 0, 0. When I add, I will get a 0, 0, 0. So, copy down, note down this. We can conclude D minimum equal to 4, hence minimum weight is equal to a 4. So when I add these 4 columns, I will get a 0. If I get only using a 3 column, then D minimum will be equal to 3. Copy it on this, we will continue the discussion. Very good, Nisarga has typed. Minimum hemming distance or hemming weight of the codes can also be found using a valid code vectors and uh, comparing them it is possible. Uh, find a few code words and type in chat box. This is uh, already done and uh, all of you know uh, how to find out the uh, code words. So just now you did it. Let's go to the just to the code words. Those you have typed in the chat box previously, we can compare those code words and what I'm doing. I'll wait for a few seconds, you people can just compare a few code words, what you have done, what I'm showing. Some students have typed a, a different message vector they have considered and they have found a code vector. So let them compare what I'm showing and what they have typed in the chat box. If it is same, you can type same so that you can go to the next uh, discussion. A code word you got same, it's good. Let us construct the syndrome table showing a single error pattern and corresponding syndrome. See, this I already discussed many times. This is a syndrome, this is nothing but the H transpose you have taken. And uh, when you do S equal to R H transpose, if it is a single bit error, first one, then uh, first row of the H transpose will match. These things we have discussed in detail. Just for your reference, uh, take a table. I'll wait for you people to copy. Double error pattern. We can construct a table. How we can do it table? We'll not do the whole table. We'll do sample one or two. Say received is one one all zeros. What is the S equal to? Or I first know how to find out S equal to R into H transpose. I you just find out. I got 0, 0, 1, 1. And later I'm taking say 1, 0, 1. Actually all zeros is transmitted. Say you think I got received like this, I received like this, what might be the syndrome I am finding it. You also find out, uh, let me see, will you get the same syndrome or not. For it is double error. 
this is a table I am showing you but we cannot do all just now I did two and asked you to do two those I am writing similarly uh, considering the double error with a different 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 position I can have a syndrome this is just a table it takes a lot of time to prepare the whole table but you should know how it is done how it can be done done uh, taken uh, three minutes already don't copy everything take a sample five to six centuries maximum so let us go to the next take another example for a systematic 7-4 linear block code P is given they are asking you to find out uh, code vectors and they are asking you to write the encoding circuit and uh, single error has occurred find out the syndrome draw the syndrome calculation circuit copy down I will wait for a minutes all those in the beginning C equal to D into G G is equal to IP S equal to RH transpose those things you have to revise you have to remember that will help very good. Somebody has copied. This is a G equal to IP. All of you know identity matrix uh, followed by P matrix. Code vector equal to C equal to D into G. All the code words. Type any uh, one or two sample in the chat box. So this is C equal to D into G. You have done it just now. And these are the code words. Let me show you a sample code words. Go to the. I'll pause for a thirty seconds. Hope all of you got the same code. Very good. Draw the encoder circuit. Do it fast. Take a few seconds and. Uh, Write down the encoder circuit. You have become expert now. Encoder, you people know. Let us go to the next. Even if you are done half also, no problem. You can uh, do the remaining. Say, let us consider first example. RA is given. I want you people to write down R into H transpose. Find the syndrome and type in the chat box. Now all of you have typed the syndromes. I'm happy to see. 110 is correct. S A equal to. And uh, now the construction of standard array we have to discuss. Construct the standard array for a given G equal to. First you find out the code words, we will uh, discuss how to study the, how to consider the standard array. Type the one sample code word, for 110, parity bits are 110. Very good, thank you. To consider the standard array, you need all the code words and H transpose. So code words are given, H transpose. Hope all of you have the same code words. You can write if the code words are same, you can write on the same code words you got in the chat box. Okay, good. We have got the same code words. Very good. All of them they have completed this. Good. So let me take a one minute and uh, just to prepare this and keep it ready. What you have to do first is the H transpose you have to write completely. Then a coset leader, all at zero. Then the first code word, second code word, third code word, up to a last code word. Starting from this code word is then first one. This is the last one. I want you people to prepare this table. And keep ready. And, uh, I take a separate page because you have to write in each column. Na? One, two, three, four, five, six bits. You have to write. You should have that much of space. Don't uh, make very small. You have to make entries. Na? So it's better to make a 